Welcome to Budapest. Ciao ragazzi, come state? When discussing traveling with my friends about where we've been and where we want to go, there's always one place that comes up. I'm always asked, have you been to Budapest yet? Well, in this episode, I forget to pack our family's bathing suits and we head to a place that's known for having an iconic bathhouse. Ever since we moved here, I've been hearing from people that Budapest was one of their sneaky favorites. So it's been on our list for a long time, and since this vacation was over the Thanksgiving weekend, that was also the beginning of the European Christmas markets. Budapest was supposed to have a fabulous market, so we went to Hungary. Si dice così, Budapest. Budapest is in Hungary. If you rotate the Hungarian flag 90 degrees, it looks like the Italian flag. Budapest is the spa capital of the world, and if there's anything that my mom likes, it's spas. Our first night there, we went to Christmas markets and a dinner cruise. My only comparison for Christmas markets in Europe so far has been Vienna last year. And I think I preferred the Vienna market. I don't know if it was just that it was the first time I'd seen one and the magic of it all, but I mean, Budapest was still good. It didn't quite live up to my expectation for it. I love Christmas markets. I love the food. One of my favorite things about the Christmas markets are the food, especially the treats. As you all know, when we travel, we have to try all of the local treats. In Budapest, that is a traditional chimney cake, which is like this pastry that they roll around a log and then cook it over like a open coals and then when they slide it off the log it steams and looks like a chimney. They have all different flavors. We tried chocolate, cinnamon, sugar, all delicious. I love chimney cakes. Chimney cakes are good. My favorite chimney cake was the cinnamon. In this Christmas market, my favorite food was the goulash and the bread bowl. I feel like a lot of European cities claim that they have the best Christmas markets and Budapest was one of them. Uh, there was a lot of food, a lot of stands for shops, and they even displayed like a light show on one of their churches. One of the things everybody recommends to do is do a nighttime dinner cruise on the Danube River so you can see both the Buddha and the Pesh side all lit up. On the cruise you get to go out and you get to see how beautiful the city is when it's lit up. Uh, it's a good thing we went there during Christmas too. Also a dinner. The thing I remember about the dinner cruise was the unlimited apple juice. The dinner cruise was on the Danube River, which is the second largest river in Europe. The dinner cruise was a nice way to go because they served kind of a traditional Hungarian dinner. They had a really awesome string quartet going around playing that knew like current music too, so we were having a good time. We do a lot of exploring new cities on foot and this one was no different. We crossed the bridge over to the Buddha side and did a little walk hike kind of up this mountain to get an awesome view.
By the time we'd made it back down though, I think the kids were spent on their energy and we opted for this little golf cart hop on hop off tour of the Buddha side where we saw Buddha Castle, the Fisherman's Bastion and Starbucks. Instead of walking, we went on a golf cart tour that dropped us at different places in Budapest. The golf cart thing was much like those hop and ride things that you see in cities like London, uh, where you just hop on and they give you a tour. Uh, they drop us off from place to place and we got to see more of Budapest that way. Budapest is a big city and a lot of things that you want to see are along the Danube River. bunch of buildings. The most popular thing in Budapest is the bathhouse. I would say one of the most traditional things to do while you're in Budapest is to go to the bathhouses. We went to the one that was kind of the biggest and most well known and because it was probably the most kid friendly from what I could find online and it was so interesting. If you've seen or heard of Budapest bathhouses, it's probably the one that we went to is what you're picturing, the Sechen Yi bathhouses. It was really big, really warm, and a lot of fun. Not packing bathing suits was a big mistake by me. It's a good thing they had stores over there, but I were probably not the first people to forget them. It was like a swimming pool, but it was really warm. One of the things that I liked about the bathhouse is that it was really nice and warm, but we also had very uncomfortable flip-flops. There's a lot of hot tubs, saunas, and spas, but the thing that I remember most about this place was the whirlpool. There was a beautiful indoor too that was all made with, you know, beautiful arch ceilings and tiles. It was a little too hot and stuffy in there for my liking. I definitely preferred the outdoor bath better. The thing I liked most about Budapest was the park that we went to on the last day. Good news for those who travel with little kids, Budapest has one of the most ridiculous parks in a good way that I've ever seen. Uh, there's just so much to do. Huge slides, big swings, and uh, all the above. I'd highly recommend it. It's probably the most modern and biggest park we've been to in Europe. Bro, it was the best park ever. What everyone had said about Budapest was true for us too. It's definitely a gem. Maybe not one of the bigger cities you think of when you think of visiting Europe, but a definite must see. Now we've been almost all the places that Catania flies direct out of, so we're gonna have to get a little creative with our travel from this point forward. Bro, Viso Natasha!